Happy New Year everybody, I'm GTG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to do something with Firework. As you can see we're in a new plugin and I have registered the events to the main class and I have listened to a player toggle sneak event. And what we are going to do is we are going to uh, create a Firework. And to do that it's actually quite simple as an item stack. So first we are going to create the item stack, so the Firework. I'm just going to call it Firework equals and then I'm going to get the player and get uh, get the world from the player because we need to spawn it as an entity spawn e dot get player dot get location for now and firework dot class will return the right entity and uh, what we need to do as with items there's item meta so there's also firework meta which will contain all data so I'm just gonna call it data and it equals Firework meta, you need to cast it to firework meta, firework dot get firework meta. And let me just import that. Yes, data. And what we are going to do is data dot add effects. So we're going to add effects to our firework. And to do that, we need to have the firework effect class and we need to run the builder so we get the firework builder back. And what we can do is we can set with color. Uh, so with color, color dot, uh, let's say purple, and we also can do with color again. So it will have two colors with color, uh, color dot green, for example. And what you can also set is with uh, type, and type is going to be the ball large. And at the end, you can also say well with flicker, so that it has flicker. And to finish up, you need to build it. So this will start the builder give you a couple of options and then you can build the effect which will set it over here and we can also set the power of the arrow data so dot set power one it will just return the standard power you can mess around with it to see what it does and last but not least as with item meta and item stacks we have to set the item meta so set firework meta to uh, data and we do not have to give it to the player because it's not possible yeah, it's a spawned entity, so we're not going to give it to the player anymore. And uh, you also don't need to set it off or something like that. This is just working firework now. That's how easy it is. You can change settings over here. There's a couple more things you can uh, work with. And also, don't forget to set firework meta to data. And that's actually it for the coding part. Let's go and see this on the server. See you over there. So inside Minecraft now, I've started up the server. Let's go take a look at our firework. And if I now toggle sneak, it will fire a firework. As you can see green and purple colors with flicker and if i toggle it again because toggle is up and down both it will trigger again and that's it for today's episode I hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you've got any feedback or suggestions down below in the comment section or in the description box you will find a link to the discord channel hope to see you over there thanks for watching see you next time bye <laughs>